All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, man. Today we are going to talk about Malachi Flynn. Now, Toronto, they have the second game of a back-to-back. -back. They are headed back to Toronto to take on the Brooklyn Nets. And as I was talking about yesterday, man, this is another huge game. Last night was a huge game. It was a huge win. And especially considering who the Raptors are without, you know, obviously we all are aware, you know, and the Nets are without KD, you know, yada, yada, yada. But where Toronto stands right now, two games ahead of Brooklyn, you know, only one game as or before last night, only one game. If you can get two wins right now while you're shorthanded, but Brooklyn, especially the team right behind you, they're way shorthanded. They're missing all three of their stars. Like, man gotta win these basketball games and so a bunch of the Raptors players are questionable tonight and I'm honestly just like part of me is hoping I know how much of an important win this is gonna be but you know you have Freddie OG and DJ Wilson all questionable um I would say of all three of those players like you know hopefully OG you know is good to go relatively soon we'll talk about OG actually later on in this video but the reason I wanted to talk about Malachi Flynn is because I really liked what he did last night against Brooklyn. And this is a player who, before we get into this, actually, if you guys enjoy, hit the like button, hit that sub button, post Raptors content, NBA content every single day. I've got my Discord, I got my Twitter, I got all my socials down below if you guys want to check that out as well. Would love some more Discord members. Um, the thing is, Malachi, at the end of last year, just really kind of took off. And when Malachi came out of Washington State, he was known for two things really well. Pick and roll and defense. And so at the end of last year, you know, Malachi got some nice run. And uh, I feel like we got a nice little taste. Well, you know, the Raptors, they got, they draft Delano Banton. Uh, Malachi, whenever he did play, he wasn't playing much to start the season. But whenever he did play, he was not playing well. Like he was Mr. Inefficient. Um, you know, maybe the defense was there, but that was really it. And keep in mind, Toronto is not necessarily a pick and roll kind of team. Now they have Thaddeus Young, so hopefully that helps out Malachi off of the bench when he gets uh, sent back down to the bench. And you got Thaddeus coming off the bench, obviously, as well. I do like that little pairing. But it, it, there was just something different about Malachi this season. And from the Raptors' perspective, you have to play other guys, too. Like, you just drafted Scotty Barnes. Scotty Barnes needs all the touches he can possibly handle here in his rookie season. OG Ananobi, this man is not even 25 years old. He needs every touch he can get. Look at guys like Delano Banton that they just drafted. He needs his touches. Pascal needs his touches. Freddie needs his touches. And so Malachi kind of just got sent to the doghouse wasn't producing offensively his defense was okay and it just wasn't good enough and so now we get a little bit later into the season where you know personally I haven't really seen Delano Banton play an all-around good game in quite some time I feel like it's been quite some time since Delano Banton has has had a, like a really well-rounded game and it's crazy because whenever they send this dude to the G League he'll completely feast you'll see the stat line and you'll be like oh my goodness gracious so long term with Delano Banton obviously there's a lot of hope there's a lot of potential there and there's a lot of reason to be excited but for right now it seems as if defenses have figured him out Delano Banton offensively is not really known for his scoring, and he's not really doing anything. So Malachi Flint getting some run here. The last three games since the break, we saw 12 minutes in the loss against Charlotte. We're actually, you know, we actually played 12 minutes, but five points, shot two or three, had five assists. You know, in just 12 minutes, like five assists, damn, all right. So Nick Nurse is like, all right, our rotation's super thin. Let's give you another run against Atlanta. Um... I think I speak for all Raptors Nation here. That was just a tough game for everybody. I think that was a really tough game for everybody. He did not play well. 19 minutes, 6 points, 2 of 10 from the field, 0 of 5 from downtown, only a 1 assist, or sorry, 0 assists, only 1 rebound, nothing defensively. And, um, you know, I would say that was more of just a horrible game by the Toronto Raptors in general. But last night against Brooklyn, he gets the start with Freddie being out. And that's a huge reason why I'm so excited Malachi's getting this opportunity is because I'm worried about him. I don't know how long Toronto, considering 
the nice acquisition and the draft of Delano Banton, I'm a little worried about Toronto's long-term plans with Malachi. And I can't blame him because if he's not going to live up to his potential, there isn't all the time in the world, right? Time is money. So right now is perfect because defenses have kind of figured out Delano. Freddie is injured right now. And Freddie playing about 35 a night, like all the starters, he needs rest, dude. He needs rest. So give the man some rest. And last night we saw for Malachi 34 minutes. We saw 18 points. He shot 7 of 11 from the field, 3 of 5 from downtown, finished with 4 rebounds, 5 assists, and 2 steals. So one of the big critiques I had in that loss to Atlanta for Toronto was Freddie. Because, yeah, Freddie you know, was doing as much as he could do offensively. It was so clear whatever was nagging Freddie it was it was like really affecting his defense in a negative way it, it, it was it was tough sometimes and there were a lot of little things like sometimes you know he just wouldn't make the right pass or the pass would be a little bit off but mainly defense um, whoever he was guarding just immediately had the first step and it, it just wasn't good defenses would have to collapse and it just wasn't ideal and so Malachi right there coming out of the draft defense pick and roll but like i said toronto pick and roll wise haven't really been known for for that in like several several years so defensively malachi flint i really like what i'm seeing now the thing is you have a game against brooklyn freddie's gonna want to play og's gonna want to play all these guys are gonna want to play so it kind of becomes right now for nick nurse like do you take the risk? If Freddie says he's good to go, do you play Freddie because this is such an important win? Coming off a of back-to-back as well, these guys might be a little bit tired. It might be nice to get some fresh legs in there. Or do we hand the keys over to Malachi? Hope Scotty B. Barnes goes off again. Hopefully Siakam's kind of getting himself back to speed after that injury. Maybe OG comes back and then you feel a little bit... Uh, more comfortable not playing Freddie. Who knows how tonight's going to go against Brooklyn. All I know is I want to see more Malachi Flynn if he's going to keep playing like that. You know, if we're going to see that 2 a 10 like most nights, I think it it's pretty obvious. Like, all right, it's probably not the move. But if your backup point guard gets an opportunity to start when your your point your starting point guard Fred Van Vliet like he really needs that rest and your backups going 18 4 and 5 and 2 and you're getting the win in a blowout fashion like he he's going to he's going to get some playing time he's going to get some playing time until you know either honestly until he just kind of like shoots himself in the foot if that happens so that's it for today man drop some comments down below on your thoughts on malachi flynn do you want to see more minutes from him moving forward do you want to see him go at more delano banton what do you want to see hit the like button hit that sub button as always i'll see you guys later